Emeritus of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Parks and Weisberg Realtor since 2013, broke into her industry working from her kitchen table. Within 15 months, she had passed her real estate exam and become a top producer for her sponsoring broker. Pat cites her Catholic education as the source of her values and the disciplines that have served her so well in her real estate career and her personal life. Young Pat Engler attended Most Blessed Sacrament in Holy Name Elementary Schools and graduated from Presentation Academy, where Sister Lucy Friedman, a sister of charity in Nazareth, was an important mentor. She pursued coursework at Bellarmine University and Spencerian Business School and earned four real estate designations. Pat joined Bass and Weisberg Realtors in 1974, rose quickly in leadership, and in 1980 became president of the firm, later renamed Parks and Weisberg. She and her partner sold the firm in 2008 to two of Pat's children, David and Judy. Pat also founded Multiple Options Mortgage Company in 1988, a highly successful enterprise that she managed until its sale in 2015 to her daughter, Stacy. Early in her career, Pat earned the honors of New Member Realtor of the Year and Louisville and Kentucky Realtor of the Year. She was president of the Greater Louisville Association of Realtors. Dedicated to education and paving the way for women in business, Pat served as local, state, and national president of the Women's Council of Realtors and was instrumental in forming its leadership training graduate designation. President Reagan appointed her to a blue ribbon cabinet for professional women. In 1984, the National Association of Realtors selected her to represent the United States at an international conference held in England. Pat has taught classes focusing on women's business issues in 38 states, as well as Europe and Jamaica. Recently, she has mentored local nonprofits in Louisville Encore. In 2013, Pat received the Tower Award from Presentation Academy, for which she currently serves as trustee and advancement committee chair. She was inducted into the Wall of Honor of the Greater Louisville Association of Realtors in 2001. Pat is married to Mike Berman, and she has three grown children, David, Judy, and Stacy, and eight grandchildren. The Catholic Education Foundation salutes Pat Parks. Extremely spirited and dedicated to women. 
and she put me on the path of doing what I needed to do in my life. She set me down when I was 15 years old, and she said, I'm going to give you a week. You're going to have to figure out what you're going to do with your life. You write it down. You come back and tell me next week, and then we're going to deal with it. <laughs> well, some of my grandgirls are here, and some of them are 15 and a little bit older than that. But I can imagine what they would say if I told them they had a week to decide what they were going to do with themselves. <laughs> but Lucy was a spitfire, and she was serious. And I would pass her in the hall, and she'd say, have you written? I'd say, no. Write. I want you to write. To write it down. What are you going to do with yourself? So, in a week, I had determined that the important things in my life were to be able to teach, to travel, and to write. And when I shared that with Lucy, she very innocently said, why are you going to do that? <laughs> that was the next question, how are you going to do that? So Lucy helped me, and I was able to build my real estate career around wanting to do those three things. And in my years of helping women to be successful, I cannot tell you how many stories that people have told me about the difference that being able to be successful in your life makes. And because you never ever get anywhere alone, I want to share a little story with you that I hope does not result in me losing my award. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really very simple. As you climb the ladder, remember that you have to leave your hand down to bring somebody else up behind you because you cannot climb your ladder alone. And it is our job to help other people to be successful. But the thing that I really want to tell you is that you cannot be successful unless you learn how to lie, <laughs> how to cheat, and how to steal. <laughs> now, Cardinal, I don't want you coming after my <laughs> So let me explain. You will not always please everybody. <coughs> so you have to learn how to cheat from the people who would rob you of your peace of mind. To know that your path is the path that needs to be followed. And you need to follow it in your own way. You need to be able to steal every day some time for yourself and the people that are important in your life to be able to restore your soul. And if you're lucky enough, you need to lie every night in the arms of someone that you love. Thank you very much for this great Thank you very, very much. Our next honorary.